Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, just want to say hello to all of the new subscribers. I have gained about 1500 subscribers in the last like week or two, which is really freaking crazy. So thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Um, and thank you for coming back to watch my videos. I really appreciate you guys. But for anyone who's new, my name is Alex. Um, I am a tarot reader, clearly. Um, I won't be using the tarot in these weekly messages because um, this is just going to be messages from your person. As always, these are going to be pretty quick. So if you just want to go to the timestamp for your sign, go ahead and do that. If you want to stick around for the whole thing, that is cool too. Make sure to check out your sun, moon, and rising as well. So yeah, if you need a private reading, all the info for that is in the description as well. So yeah, let's get into it. I have my little notebook here. Okay. Also, I don't have my glasses on for those of you who are new here. I don't have my glasses on because you can see the reflection of my ring light in the glasses. And for me, it's very distracting. And so I can't actually see the time on the camera. So if you see me being like, you see my big ass forehead, like it's because I'm trying to see the time so I can get timestamps. Okay. We'll do 111 for Aries. 111. Okay. What would Aries person say to them? I have unwittingly sabotaged our connection. Twin flame journey. I wish I could fix things between us. And spiritual awakening. Yeah, I dream of you. And I feel lost without you. This person feels very guilty. This person has a lot of regret and they have a lot of guilt. And it looks like you're on their mind with I dream of you. And they feel like they've lost a part of themselves. Uh, I'm not a huge, I'm not super big on the whole twin flame concept. Um, <clears throat> I used to be, but that my, but my path has just kind of taken a different route um, for anyone who's new here. But like, the twin flame card always comes out when there's a very intense connection. So I think you two had a very intense connection together. And I think like without you in their life that it's very confusing for them so yeah Aries that's what we have for you okay Taurus to 36 <clears throat> what would Taurus's person say to them thank you I wish I could turn back the clock and do things over I'm working up the courage to contact you I didn't mean what I said I can't stand the thought of you with someone else. I get emotional when I think of you and I'm battling inner demons. This person feels impulsive to me. Um, I didn't mean what I said. I'm working up the courage to contact you. I wish I could do things over. I, they must have said something or done something that was very irrational. Like I said, this person's very impulsive. So that could be a sign for you that this is for you, that the person you're dealing with is just very impulsive. I do feel like there is regret here, but with the I'm battling inner demons, it looks like it's not fully healed, I guess. So it's up to you when this person comes back because it says that they're working with the courage to contact you. So I'm sure they will. But um, when they do that, you know, just proceed with caution, right? OK, 349. This card wanted to pop out. I had a hard time shuffling that. Okay. Emotionally available. Okay. What would Gemini's person say to them? <clears throat> so again, we have emotionally available. Please don't give up on me. Telepathic bond. I ran away because I felt I couldn't live up to your needs and expectations. Repetitive cycles. And you inspire me in so many ways. This person has an appreciation for you. But at the same time, they're not really capable of giving you a relationship at the moment. They don't want you to give up on them, though. Which is kind of a red flag to me because they're like, oh, I'm emotionally unavailable and I ran away and I haven't really changed with repetitive cycles. But uh, please don't give up on me. It's like, why would I wait around for you if you're not even changing, you know? So... 
Yeah, I don't know about that one, Gemini. I don't know. I, I think it's time to leave that one behind. Okay, Cancer. <clears throat> what would Cancer's person say to them? Okay, we have obstacles. It sounds like there's a plane about to land up. It literally sounds like there's a plane about to land outside of my apartment. I'm a little scared. Um, okay, whatever. We have obstacles, unhealthy attachment. I am filled with regret and I'm making changes for the better. I'm done playing games and childhood wounding is affecting my actions. This person is very emotionally immature. This person does not know how to handle romantic relationships. Obstacles, unhealthy attachments, they have regret because of the decisions that they have made. Uh, they're trying to change. Uh, they've been playing games. And I think that they recognize that a lot of their childhood wounding is, you know, coming up right now. I would leave this person alone. That sounds like someone who is not ready to be in a mature, loving relationship, you know? Very interesting. Okay, let's go to Leo. Six, two, six. Six to six, like stitch. Okay. What would Leo's person say to them? My room is so messy right now. I need to clean it. I just got home from a weekend trip. And you know when you get home and you unpack and like every... I don't know. Why am I talking about this? Some of you Leos may have just come back from a trip or maybe you're going on a trip. I don't know. Maybe you're traveling. Um... But like, you know, when you unpack and you're, then your room just, be, it looks like a tornado ran through it. Like that's what my room looks like right now. Usually my room is very clean and very organized. And right now I'm like, this is driving me nuts. I'm like looking around like, ooh. Okay. So what would Leo's person say to them? Please don't move on. I get emotional when I think of you. I'm afraid of losing you. You inspire me in so many ways unhealthy habits and behaviors water under the bridge you moved on from this person or at least you tried or you left let's let's go with that because like if you moved on why would you be watching this right like it seems like you left this person you left them they don't want you to move on they don't like the idea of you moving on We have nothing here that says that they're going to come and reach out or that they're going to reach out to you. They are afraid of losing. I think that they will eventually. I, don't, I just don't know when. They're very, very scared of seeing you with somebody else. I'd be scared of seeing... Of, if I fell in love with a Leo, I'd be scared of seeing them with somebody else too. Leos love to be the center of attention. That's what they get though, right? That's what they fucking get. Okay. Virgo. 819... I don't know what they did to Leo. That's crazy. Okay, Virgo. What would Virgo's person say to them? I'll come back for you. I feel like I can be my true self around you. Emotionally, un uh, <laughs> emotionally unavailable and toxicity. Wow. So this person is saying, yeah, I have no intention on being in a relationship with you and I'm very toxic, but here I come. Um, take that as your sign. Here they come. Telepathic bond and obstacles. I don't even know what to say about that. This person is very toxic, but they're coming back anyway. They haven't changed. So uh, be very careful, Virgo. Okay, let's go to Libra. 921. One more. I wish I could turn back the clock and do things over. I'll come back for you. That's the overall energy. That's crazy. You are the first thing on my mind when I wake up in the morning. I didn't mean what I said. 
I want a new beginning with you and silent treatment. This person is quiet right now, or maybe you're giving them the silent treatment. They're planning on coming back though. That's a very, very big plan. That's very, this is very straightforward. I don't think the other signs so far have had this. This is definitely someone who's coming back around. So I would expect that, I would expect that. They feel like they just want to start over. We have two cards there that talk about having a new beginning. And they're, you're all that they can think about. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Let's go to Scorpio. What would Scorpio's person say to them? <gasps> ah. Okay, you get an extra one, Scorpio. <laughs> there is someone keeping me from you and please don't move on. Okay, third party energy right off the bat. There is something I'm hiding from you. Unhealthy attachment, silent treatment. You are the first thing on my mind when I wake up in the morning and will you give me a second chance? Uh, Scorpio, this person's a cheater person's cheating on you or they did um and i think that they're with this person but they're still thinking of you i would stay so far if the silent treatment card is you giving them the silent treatment good for you stay that way stay that way for your own sanity right okay saggy Saggy's person say to them? There is someone keeping me from you. I'm ashamed of how I treated you. Obstacles. I dream of you. I ran away because I felt I couldn't live up to your needs and expectations. And water under the bridge. Saggy, I think your person is taking a pretty mature approach to the situation. I don't say that too often. I feel like they recognize how they fucked up. Um, and I think that that's why they're, they're staying away with there's some, there is someone keeping me from you. And that could be third party stuff. You know, it could be another person. It could be in another relationship. Yeah. Like don't, don't discount that. Like if you know this person's a cheater, they're a cheater. Like don't try to, don't try to talk yourself out of that. They cheated on you. They cheated on you. Um, but I almost feel like they're keeping themselves from you. I feel like this person understands that they really, really messed up and that they should stay away, which a lot of people don't do that. Like a lot of toxic people are like, yeah, I don't care. I'm just going to keep coming back and destroying lives. You know, I don't think that this person really has that attitude. So if you guys do meet up in the future, I feel I, I never say this about exes, but there might actually be a chance for you guys to work things out. So I would, um, you know, just stay, stay away, you know, cause they need to do whatever they, whatever it is they need to do. And honestly, by the time this person comes back, you may not even want them anymore. So whatever, right? There's 8 billion people on this planet. We don't need to be waiting around for one person. So don't wait around. Okay. Let's go to Capricorn. What would Capricorn's person say to them? Hello? Why are these taking so long? <laughs> I have two more. Thank you. I dream of you. I'm battling inner demons. Divine counterpart. Twin flame journey. Ew. There is someone keeping me from you. And I ran away because I felt I couldn't live up to your needs and expectations. Now, ever, ever, anyone who like knows me and my content, you guys know I'm not really like a twin flame journey kind of person. Um, 
but when the twin flame card comes out it's usually because the connection was just like super intense that's just how i take it um and also the twin flame journey is supposed to be about like coming back home to yourself so i feel like this relationship was really significant for the both of you and figuring out who you are and figuring out what you want in a relationship and i feel like it just needs to be at that this person is like they said is battling inner demons um yes they were they were a good part or they were a good partner to you at one point but obviously that changed um you know maybe you changed for the better and they didn't change for the better maybe they didn't change at all and you did you know so now it's like just because they were good for you six months ago doesn't mean that they're good for you now. And there's someone out there. If you're up leveling, then there's someone out there who's better for you, right? Um, the whole there is someone keeping me from you. It does look like there's someone else involved here. Um, it kind of just sounds like they're going to someone who isn't going to uh, hold them accountable for being a good partner. So, uh, yeah, I ran away because I couldn't live up to your needs or expectations. You held them accountable. You wanted them to be a good partner and they weren't and so they said okay bye i'm gonna go find someone who will just deal with my shit you know so good for you for dipping out and um yeah you have someone better coming okay let's go to aqua 16 26 what would aqua's person say to them what aqua person say to them i wish you were here with me i wish i could fix things between us a lot of wishing i am filled with regret oh my god i am faced with constant reminders of you what did this person do aqua overall i'm afraid of losing you and i wish i could give you more i wish 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 with all my heart to fly with dragons. Oh my god, okay. Um, maybe dragon tails is a sign for you. They wish a lot of things and they're like not doing anything to like fix it. I am filled with regret. They have a lot of regret. They're constantly thinking of you and they're constantly being reminded of what they did to you. I don't know what they did to you. And they're afraid you're going to move on without them. I don't know what they did. I wish you were here with me. I wish I could fix things. I wish I could give you more. This person is admitting that they can't be better. I wish I could give you more. If they could give you more, they would. But they won't. It's all about actions, right? I mean, they can tell you to your face, I'm afraid of losing you. But if they can't be a good partner to you, then what's, what are you supposed to do with that? You know? All right, let's go to Pisces. Okay, okay, okay. What would Pisces person say to them? Oh my god, a lot. Okay. Unhealthy attachment. I dream of you. Mental health. I ran away because I felt I couldn't live up to your needs and expectations. Please don't move on. Destined connection, and I'll come back for you. This person's going to spin the block. This person doesn't want you to move on. They are coming back. Um, however, this mental health card is really sticking out to me, Pisces. I feel like their mental health problems have not gotten under control. So if that was a problem in your connection, this hasn't really changed. So obviously that's a spectrum, right? Like whether it's just like slight depression or like actual personality disorders that need to be regulated right like um if you need to keep yourself safe please stay away from this person you know don't take them back just because they said that they went to therapy one time like going to therapy one time doesn't solve all your problems so um you know taking medication for a week doesn't make you better it has to be consistent over a period of time right so just be very very careful i don't know why that's sticking out to me so yeah i think it's the unhealthy attachment as well like this person feels kind of obsessive to me. It's, yeah, it feels kind of obsessive. But yeah, Pisces, that's what I have for you. I hope that that helped everyone. Um, if you guys have any questions, definitely email me, hit me up. But I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye!